I'm going to just add a brief little extension to this tutorial. So let's start. I'm going to add some more text here. So I'm adding a resistor value, so R underscore something. I'll call it in, for example. And so for multi-character subscripts, I use braces so that everything gets put in there. And, you know, I'm going to write this as an equation. So I'm going to put 5, and then I'm going to start with that, and let's just see that. And then you can see here it says we will deal with resistance. Rn equals 5. So I'm going to add some more to that. I want units. I'm going to put here k, and then we'll put in backslash omega. So when I recompile that, it looks like this. Now what you see is Rn is italicized like a variable, and the 5 is here, and then there's a k omega. The k is italicized like a variable, but it's not like a prefix, so we want it to not be italicized. So what we can do is use the text command, text, put it in braces. I'm going to recompile this. And now it looks like a resistance value. There's one last thing I want to do here is I want to add a space between the 5 and the k because there generally is a space between units. So what do I do here? I put my cursor after the 5, I put space if I want. It wouldn't register that space, but I force the space. I can use backslash semicolon. It creates a full space. So when I recompile it, you'll see it. Now I have a space between my 5 and my kilo omega. I could also reduce the space. Instead of semicolon, I can use comma. And another thing I could do is I can use the mu. So for example, I want a small current. So I put in the space and then I use a backslash lowercase mu for mu and then text. And then when I recompile this, you'll see how that looks. And it put it here. Uh, it's the next line in a paragraph. That's why it's dedented. Okay, so we've built onto this tutorial. And I showed you how to do the omega symbol for ohms and how to do multi-letter subscripts. Hope that was helpful.